In this part of our Django tutorials, we're going to see what happens if we want to extend our database and add some other variables to our models, to one of our classes in the models. So for example, we have the first name and the last name for each of the classmates. But uh, what if we want to add the phone number and the email to that database? So here, as you can see, I have added the phone and the email to the database. But because we have added some data to our uh, to the database related to our classmates, which have some values in them uh, containing some of our names, such as Mariana and I, Mike, I think. So uh, they they have uh, if once we uh, make migrations, then we will have two boxes empty related to phone and the email. So. We can write uh, some default values for them so that uh, those data are not empty. So for example, Mariana, James, and, and for example, Mike, I don't know, some, some other names have their own values for the phone and the email, right? So here I've added the default value for them so that those data are not empty and we can uh, easily see those data. Also, what we need to do is to add some templates inside of our templates folder. So here I have added um, one base.html, which is a template for all of the uh, student information. So we want to show the student information in separate pages, and we want to have a template for all of them, which is, uh, which is named as base.html, or some people say master.html. And as you can see, we have this block title and block content in which we are going to place our title and our content. So this is the main template inside which we are going to develop separately for each one of our students. And inside of the stuinfo.html, we're going to add those data inside of our uh, block title and also block content, which uh, at the beginning, we're going to write extends based on HTML. So if you want to have another HTML that um, is going to, you, that you're going to put the uh, different data from the others inside of those, you can uh, write, at first you can write extends, that extends based on HTML or master.html or any other name that is the base HTML of your code. And then inside of the blocks, you can write your own custom uh, code. So later you will see that, for example, we will add some nav bars to this, to this space.html. And once we do that, the same will happen inside of the stuinfo.html without any ever needing to add those nav bars to uh, these HTMLs. So this is a very fine way to quick way to uh, develop your code and um, and remove some unnecessary extra parts to your html codes that's the reason we use uh, these extends based on html and block title and notice that this is specified for the dtl or django template language and we're going to use it here and benefit from it so here um, you know us uh, at first we want to start from simple representations so we've added just the uh, just some very basic html and dtl tags here so uh, first of all inside of the title we want to say that this is information about this person with his first name and his last name and then uh, these are these are the other information so the first name and the last name the phone number the email and then uh, a link to the main page, which is our home page, right? So let me also change this to home. Okay, so perfect. And that's it. So if I had the next thing I, I should do here is, so make sure you add these two templates. The next thing we should do is to add a URL for this. So stu info, and then we have all of these other uh, names. For, so for example, inside of our views page, we'll, uh, we will define a new function for a student information so, uh, so that it will, it will 
um, display it on, an, on a separate page and this is the name of the URL SCU info. So instead of div views.py, we're going to uh, define a new function, request and ID, and then we have the classmate, classmates that object that gets ID, just the same as what we did for the other functions, and then we get the template, which is stuinfo.html, and then inside of the context, we get, we get the classmates, which is from the database, uh, we get that specific name from that database, and then we will uh, return a HTTP response containing the context and the request. Okay, so um, let's run it one time and in order to see what happens. And by the way, instead of these tables, we haven't added the uh, visit the, the uh, phone and email number instead of these tables, but we will add that after we check this URL is related to SEO info. So SEO info and notice that right after it, we should also mention the number of that specific student ID. So we, right now we have ID 2 and ID 5, so we can have access to those two IDs. So if you enter, for example, 3, you will see nothing, right? Because it, the ID number 3 does not exist. But once you enter number 2, you will see that it's Mariana James with that default phone number and the default email address. And then you have a link to the home page uh, and if you click on it, it will be redirected to this classmates page. Perfect. So uh, we are also going to add uh, a cell or a column for this table where you can see the details of all of these students, the email address and the phone number. Okay, so here let us change our table inside of the index.html and right over here we will add For example, right here before the delete and after the last name, I can add a new th tag for details of the student. Also notice that we need to create a link as well. So a link and then instead of this, I can write href, href equals and right here we're going to write the um, Write the link to the URL related to our specific address. So um, what we had here was percent, two percents, and then in between we write URL, and then we had apostrophes, two apostrophes, and then we write the name of that specific URL. So let's go to our URLs.py, and there we go. This is the name of that URL, stu info is the name. So let me just switch over to that page, to our uh, index.html, and here write stu info, there we go. So right here we have this, and also let me Right, okay, student information or student extra data, whatever you can write it. And also notice that uh, it's better to write the link instead of what we already wrote here. So I would preferably write the, uh, because we have the ID, we should write whatever inside of this urls.py so stu info and int id so let me copy this and instead of the index.html just the same as what we did for update and delete let's add it right over here and by the way we do not need this backslash okay once we save this we should be able to see what's going on in here. So let's, let's check this. Okay, something looks wrong. Let's check what it, what that is. Okay, we haven't added those to TR, TD tags. 
right so let's add that to td and then close the tag and here we should have actually we shouldn't have this right here we should have it's just the student information and nothing else so let me cut this and add it to over here so we have a reference we have a link and it's just the same so phone let me write uh, phone and email phone and email okay so let's let me save this and let's refresh this page and okay there we go also these should be links and they are not links right now so let me see what the problem is here email and phone okay they should be placed these two should be placed right over here and now they will be links so let me refresh the page and now you can see the email and once we click on it we will have a problem let's look at what the problem is okay now the problem is obvious and it shouldn't be rewritten written this way it should be written uh, in the Django template format so instead of those backslashes we should have uh, int id we should have these uh, curly brackets and x.id because here we have the x parameter so let me save this and refresh one more time now as you can see we've been redirected to mariana jane uh, all the data also let's try this for michael brown phone and email and you can see everything about him so perfect now uh, we want to imagine that we want to um, update and uh, be able to add the students with this uh, if you want to add the new classmate you need to add their email and their phone right so they can just have a default value and you want to have customized email and phone number for each one of them and these two are just the same for everyone right now let's add these the, uh, these values inside of our add classmates and also be able to update them inside of our update forms right right here so we need to do a couple of more things inside of our add.html inside of our forms we need to add another part related to phone number and also the email so here I can write phone number and email okay and also here it's better to write phone and email also notice that if you haven't had I should also add this part I should have told you earlier but if you haven't got any results here inside of your home page and you haven't seen any of these uh, phone and email you haven't seen this page for mariana jane the reason is you haven't uh, make made migrations so you should run uh, python manage.py migrate so let me do that for now quickly python manage.py make migrations and then migrate so if i run this doesn't really work for me but for you it should work and then migrate this way and then once you've migrated all of the data then you will be able to see all of these models applied there and you'll be able to have phone and email on your database so if i look at my database you will be able to see that right so here you will be able to see that my model have been updated to this email and class also i have it right here 
This is my previous migration, and this is my new migration. So let me get back to where we were instead of where at the HTML. So here we've, al we've already added these two new data instead of our form. Also, let's do this for our other template instead of update. So let me do this right over here, update.html. And it's a, a little bit different, probably because we have h tags instead of these. So no problem, we will, be, we will also add these h2 tags here. So let me copy and paste all of them. And also, okay, there we go. So we have the email and the phone number instead of H2 template, H2 tags uh, and our template. So email address is better. Okay, and also here instead of our ads, email address. So there we go. So we have everything prepared. So we need to add something instead of our views.py. So first of all, instead of our ad, we need to add, for example, p for request.post request that post and then we have phone we also have the email e equals to request dot post and then we have email so also you need to add it right over here phone equals p and email equals e okay so there we go so we need to save the classmate and the rest is fine so let's check our models of pi in order to make sure if the variables are correct, okay, we have phone and email just in the correct order. And so let's get back to our views.py and also do this for update. So right here, I can just copy and paste everything from this part, copy and paste it over here. And then we will need to do the same process for each one of these, copy and paste. Okay, that's enough. And my classmate.phone and my classmate.email. First one equals to P and the next one equals to E. So there we go. Now, once again, let's run. Let me run run server Python three manage dot py run server. There we go. So We've added everything and I hope everything is fine. So let's check. It's first to our home. There we go, it's our home and let's update one of them. By the way, we have update right here. It should change. By the way, okay, anyway, let me change plus one. 
uh, we can write six, seven, eight, nine, and seven, for example, and I can write Mariana and I can write at sign gmail.com. So let us update everything and head over to Mariana's phone and email. And as you can see, the phone number and the email address have been changed, so perfect. And let's do this for Michael Brown. Let's go back to home and update so I can add any phone number. So Michael added the phone number 343434 and Michael Brown at sign gmail.com and the update and you will be able to see his phone and email address that has been updated here in the home. You can also add classmates with the same values in this form save is in the right way but let's check why update is not in the correct form let us go to update.html and uh, it's obvious because uh, we've added those two inputs right after submit so let me cut that part and We're good to go. So now I think that everything is fine here. Let me save this and now there we go. Okay, so we have, for example, Jamie, Thompson, and we have, we have the phone number and the email address as well. So let's save this. And as you can see, we have Jamie and uh, Jamie Thompson and his email and phone number, just the same as what it was inside the form. And let's get back to home. Let's try to update. And as you can see, this form has been uh, changed to right way. So it's better to remove these h2 tags right here as you can see we have four h2 tags if you want to do it quickly instead of the um, visual studio code you can press you can right click and click on change all occurrences and you can easily remove that part also let's do it for the ending tag and we're good to go. Okay, let's do this for as add br tag for these parts too. Save this and let us refresh the page. And now it's a better form. Okay, so we should have the default values for the phone number and email address too, right? So let's do this for here too. Value. for the phone and also for the email. So my classmate dot phone and my classmate dot email. Let's save this and let's refresh here. And you will see the default values of oh, something was wrong over here probably we shouldn't we haven't closed a tag okay we haven't add the apostrophe and also another apostrophe here okay now let's save this and refresh and now as you can see the default values are added to phone number and email address too instead of the update we haven't updated anything but uh, imagine that uh, I want to update what happens okay nothing happens 
we will be redirected to this page and we have the table so now we can do everything you can also for your further studies on CSS you can add some studies so for example for this one it's better to add cards and cards are one of the CSS styles that you can add for people you can also add uh, a, a photo here a place for adding a photo and in the next tutorials I will teach you how to add static files like photos images and also be able to uh, see everything uh, like uh, CSS and also any static files that you want to add inside of your website such as videos such as photo and so on so working with static files in Django is has a bit of uh, a, a bit of challenges you might face some problems but don't worry because we're going to cover complete tutorials about static files